Hey everyone, in this video, we are going to show how you can use a beta feature inside of Clay called Claygent to do custom research for your outbound campaigns. We have used this to find uh, customer support phone numbers. We've used this to find customer case studies in the past. And now we're using Claygent in order to find if a company is using artificial intelligence for its features uh, inside of its product. And so uh, without further ado, we're gonna get into it. The whole point of this campaign is we want to be able to email people about what they're using AI in their product for. If you wanted to do this, you would have to perform a Google search and then try to scrape it. And it's just not going to work really well. Claygent makes this super easy for us. So we could just click on Claygent right here. And then we have our prompt. Does this company uh, listed here have features powered by AI on their website? Don't look at programmatic SEO pages. Look at just the main homepage to see if they talked about AI features. Take the role of a venture capitalist who is looking to invest in companies that are doing things with AI. This is the company to look at. And then we give it the company URL that we want it to look at. And so then we get different examples here, right? So then we'll see like, uh, yes, loom.com has features powered by AI on their website. Uh, mentions AI features such as auto titles, auto summaries, auto chapters, auto tasks, filler word removal, and all of these things. Now, what we can do is we can use AI again to normalize this, and we can say, I dug deeper and saw you're using AI to provide auto titles and summaries for video messages. Awesome. If we can't find a company is using artificial intelligence, we uh, just have an output here that's saying, hey, there's no data using artificial intelligence. And if that's the case, we told AI to make another prompt where I would say, I don't think I saw any public facing features leveraging AI on the site just yet. I did just have a quick look. Just in case we're wrong, we just want to hedge our bets against it. And so then we can look at some more examples. Yes, the level.ai has AI powered features on the websites. Multiple links and snippets from level.ai's website indicate the presence of AI features related to contact center analytics, call center solutions, AI powered insights, and agent performance assistance, which then would turn into. I dug deeper and saw you're using AI to deliver insights in contact center analytics. So now this is a great example of a campaign that otherwise you'd have to do manual research on all of these campaigns, or all we would be able to look for is just keywords to just say, hey, notice you're using AI on your website, which is no fun at all. Here, we're using Clayton where we not only can we find that they're using AI, we know what they're using AI for. And I think it was a really cool campaign to set up and I wanted to show everybody. We have a lot of other messaging that we're doing in here. The other one that I just wanted to show was our competitor research over here where we're performing a Google search to find the top five competitors. And then we're using AI to figure out who those competitors are. So this company, sorry. So the company that we're looking up here, well, let's find one that I know. So Datadog, right? Oh, so uh, Anno.top top competitors are Datadog, Splunk, and Outlier. And so basically we're just training AI and just saying, tell us who is the competitor in here. And then we want to be able to quote the source as well. And so what we're specifically looking for is the fact that Datadog is the competitor. And we found this out from grojo.com or CB Insights or craft.co, just so that when we're reaching out, we could say, hey, Zoom Info told me that you, um, you, you are a competitor, just because we've reached out to people about this in the past, about their competitors, and uh, they got high and mighty that they weren't competitors. So I just wanted to say like, hey, we didn't think this, like another company told us this. And see how like similar web told us that TechCrunch is a competitor to Crunchbase, which, you know, kind of makes sense. Uh, and so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this AI generated tutorial or AI generated campaign and the tutorial of us going over it. Really, you could use this for so much custom research. Like another idea that I want to use this for is I want to reach out to companies and like find the case studies that they have listed on their their website and talk about, hey, like I saw you created this case study for this company. How about we found other companies just like it? And uh, I think that's going to be super awesome. This is also really good if you're prospecting into local businesses and you don't know who the owner is. The problem with local businesses is there's not a set way that they say that they're the owner. Sometimes they don't have a LinkedIn profile. And then sometimes they put us on the contact page. Sometimes they put it on the about us page. Sometimes they put it on like an hour story page. There's no way to get that lined up every single time. You have to do that custom research. And Claygent is something that can do it really, really, really well. And so, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy that and you try it yourself.